good morning student today we are going to see the topic complex sets with coordination number 4 coordination number 4 have two types of geometry that is tetrahedral geometry and square planar geometry when tetrahedral geometry is formed basically sp3 hybridization is going to be taking place in your central metal atom and when square planar geometry is formed then your central metal atom undergo dsp2 hybridization so we are first going to see complexes having tetrahedral geometry so best example is nacl 4 2 minus the atomic number of nickel is 28 so electronic configuration is written as 3d8 4s2 in this complex your nickel is present in 2 plus oxidation state that's why electronic configuration of nickel 2 plus is written as 3d8 4s0 since your ligand is halide it is a weak ligand that's why hybridization is sp3 now we have four orbital four sp3 hybrid orbital and four ligand so each ligand give its electron pair in hybrid orbital so there are total four coordinate bond is formed in this example we say that in electronic configuration there is two unpaired electron that's why this complex is paramagnetic in nature hybridization is sp3 that's why geometry is tetrahedral other example of such a type of complexes are mnx4 2 minus yeah xr bromine fluorine iodine ions now we are going to see square planar complexes next example is ni cn4 2 minus so in this complex sorry nickel have atomic number 28 electronic configuration is written as 3d8 4s2 in this complex your nickel is present in 2 plus oxidation state that's why electronic configuration is right written as 3d8 4s0 since cyanide is strong ligand it forces your central metal atom to use inner shell orbital in hybridization so that's why d2 sp2 hybridization is going to take place because of that we have a condition total eight electron and four orbitals so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is the effect of strong ligand now we have four hybrid orbital and four ligand so each ligand donate its electron pair in hybrid orbital and that's why four coordinate bond is formed like this in this electronic configuration of your nicn42 minus complex we see that there is no unpaired electron that's why it is diamagnetic complex and having square planar geometry with d2 sp2 hybridization so now we are going to see formation of cu nh3 by 4 2 plus complex ion 
this is interesting question it is exceptional question so that's why it's generally asked in the exam so before studying the hybridization of this molecule we first have to know some experimental data when magnetic study of this complex is done it is found out that this complex is paramagnetic in nature and x-ray refraction show it is have square planar geometry so these two thing is practically obtained so now we are going to see hybridization and why this complex is interesting and why question is asked generally in exam so first thing we note that amine is weak ligand so because of that we are right so copper have atomic number 29 so electronic configuration of copper is written as 3d9 for s2 in this complex your copper is present in 2 plus oxidation state so electronic configuration is written as 3d9 4s0 now the interesting thing is happen ammonia is some cases it is acts as a weak ligand in some cases it is acts as a strong ligand so if we consider it as a strong ligand so we can show d2 sp2 hybridization like this because of that we comes with a condition that total 9 electrons and 4 orbitals and you cannot put 9 electron in 4 orbitals so that's why one of the electron which are present in your 3d orbital is shifted it is placed in 4pz orbitals so we got this type of electronic configuration for this copper ammonia complex in this complex two condition which are obtained from experimental data is satisfied that is this unpaired electron basically show this complex is paramagnetic in nature and this hybridization inner inner orbital hybridization show it is square planar in geometry it have square planar geometry but this if we consider this it have one major flaw because when we put electron in for pz orbital it simply means that this pce easily oxidize it can easily lose this electron it is expected and because of that by losing that electron it go going to be formed like this complex that is copper cu nh3 by cu nh3 by 4 2 plus by losing electron this 2 plus converted into 3 plus and your copper oxidation state should change but such a oxidation not happen this type of oxidation is not happen in this complex if we consider this type of electronic arrangement then it is the major flaw 
we cannot put this electron in 4pz orbitals to overcome this flaw Huggins suggests that copper 2 plus ion undergo sp2d type hybridization it is important something is missing here generally we say that sp sp2 sp3 sp3d1 but Huggins suggests that it directly undergo sp2d means 1p orbital in your hybridization is not considered we are going to see what Huggins suggested so copper is have electronic configuration 3d9 for s2 in this complex it is present in 2 plus state that's why it is 3d9 now just see what again suggested he suggested that it undergo copper undergo sp2 dehybridization it does not consider during hybridization he does not consider pz orbital he omit that orbital so 1 4s orbital 4px 4py and 4d 1d orbital from your d shell is considered so in this type of hybridization we got four electron uh, we sorry we got four hybrid orbital at your four pz orbital is as it is it is not used in hybridization it is important four hybrid orbital four ligand so each ligand donates their electron pair and going to be formed four coordinate bond now just see that in this case the we have five orbital and nine electron this electron is a present in your inner orbital inner shell so this is overall the structure it is the overall scheme suggested by Huggins for this complex so this electron which are present here show paramagnetic nature of complex while this hybridization sp2 dehybridization suggests square planar geometry for this complex now we are going to see the topic of chelates the cyclic complex from when a multi dented ligand it is important a cyclic complex is formed when a multi dented ligand is attached to same metal ion through two or more coordinate bond it is known as chelate a multi dented ligand which forms the cyclic complex that is chelate is known as chelating ligands and the process of formation of cyclic ring is known as chelation this topic is important it is generally asked for two mark question in exam now what is the effect of chelate or what is chelate effect how chelating chelate how this effect affect the stability of complexes the chelate complexes are found to be more stable than non chelated complexes the greater stability associated with chelated complexes it's called as chelate effect the stability of chelate depends on alvin factors first factor is number of rings 
मोर द नंबर ऑफ रिंग्स इन चिलेट मोर इज द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ चिलेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल है इन इट्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड इट इज मोर स्टेबल दैन सी यू एन बाय टू टू प्लस इथिल इन डायमीन इज बाय डेंटेड लिगैन हैविंग ऑनली टू रिंग इन द स्ट्रक्चर तो मोर इज द रिंग मोर इज द स्टेबिलिटी सेकेंड इज साइज ऑफ द रिंग द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ चिलेट increases with increase in size of the ring chilets having five member rings are more stable if the chilating ligands are saturated while chilet having six membered rings are more stable if chilating ligands are have your conjugated double bonds in our next class we are going to see classification of chilets and other topic thank you very much